Mike, how important was the, the win last week in terms of the move, not just in the club, but the city, and how big is the challenge of reproducing that? Well, it was, it was a very important win for us. You know, it, uh, it showed in the game that the team were galvanised. They, uh, they worked hard for each other and, and they got through it and got the result that, that they thoroughly deserved. From the uh, supporters' point of view, it, it, was, it was good. You know, they, uh, they did what they had to do. They demonstrated a little bit, but then I thought they got behind the team really, really well. And I think they appreciated that at the end of the game. And the challenge, I guess, now is to, to go to Swansea and reproduce that. Yeah, there's a challenge every week in the Premier League. Um, what we did last week no longer counts now. All you can do is build on that. We go to Swansea with the same group, the same squad, and hopefully we can we can put in a performance that uh, we can take something from the game. What's the latest on your future? Because there's been no official word this week from the <laughs> club. Does it need resolving sooner rather than later? Well, I think it's always in the interests of a football club to know who's in charge. You know, both at the top and and sort of down the scale a little bit. So yeah, my position is exactly the same. Take the game again. You know, we're working and we're working hard and we're being gentle when we need to be with the players. But the players are focused again and, and I think they will they will turn out tomorrow and play as well as they can do. Have you spoken to the current owners this week or the prospective new owners? Well, we have one owner you know, at the moment and it's the same owner. So we, uh, we are trying to work together and in order to improve things at this football club. It's not easy. It's always a little bit difficult when we... Uh, when we're as late in the day as we are, but we are trying, we are actively working to try and bring players into this football club, but time is getting short. You know, I mentioned last week that it could have been a big week this week, but not a lot has happened. doesn't mean to say that we haven't done any, anything, you know, when it comes to phone calls and, and looking for players. We are working on that. It's just getting them over the line is, is the difficult one. Why is that proving so difficult? Well, it's probably difficult because everybody's looking in now. You know, we, we've done well to get one result. And I think people now will look up and, 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 and say, well, Hull are having a go. You know, they have got good, determined football players at this football club. They're a good group of players and they want to do well. So anybody now who wants to join Hull can see what this uh, group of players can offer. And it just needs the additions, but it's... Uh, Everything gets tighter and tighter, you know, the days are ticking away. We've had a long time to try and resolve these matters and that hasn't happened. And we've just got to do our job, which is to, uh, to play football matches. Lots of names being linked, Musa Karate, Nemanja Nikolic, Jay Rodriguez, the, the latest name. This morning, is a striker very much top of the list? Well, I think when you look at the, the, the depth of the squad, I think we're looking at positions all over, you know. we. Uh, we need players in that add to the quality we've already got and enhance this quality. You know, we need to do that. We are looking and we have made offers for, for players. Those offers at the moment we haven't heard any news from. You know, obviously they'll be debating them at their clubs. So we are active. It's just a case now of, of waiting for answers and the days go by, the hours go by and, and we face ourselves with another game with the same group of players. But I'm quietly away, I'm happy with that, that group of players. Could it go right down to the wire? Could we have a busy transfer deadline day? Well, it looks that way. I mean, every day that goes by now is, is another day towards that, that end. We, uh, we need to make sure that we have options. I think we have them options. It's just a matter now of convincing players and clubs to let those players go. Obviously, money's involved and the transaction of, of, of money is always difficult. And maybe the cost goes up a little bit, I don't know. But uh, this club definitely needs players. That's not changed. And the prospective new owners were at the game on Saturday. What have you been told about the takeover? Only that, you know, this, this is ongoing. It's, it's something which I think lawyers take the time with. There is the opportunity for this club to be taken over. I really have to leave it there with, with, with that sort of... What they do is their business. Um, it's up to that to be resolved as quickly as possible so we can move forward. Would it be helpful for you if, if that was pushed through... Before I think it's helpful for anybody. You talk about the city, the atmosphere, everybody's looking in now and wanting something to happen. You know, it's, it's only natural that. And two parties are talking. That's as far as it's gone at the moment. It's up to them now to get this, this job done. And last one from me. Do you, do you expect to, to sit down with the owner next week to, to try and sort your future out? I want to sit down with the owner every day to find out what's going on. Um, it's, it's an interesting time. You know, we, 
we have a job to do. We're still focused on that job. You know, a week's a long time in football, as they say. This week has been a long week, but you have the beauty of a game at the end of it. We're still here. I'm still in charge of that game. The players are ready for the game again. I think they've got a lot of confidence from last week. And we've just got to make sure we, we come through that with flying colours. So the shape you're looking at life on the injury front? Well, we're still in a position where the one player that is on his way back and is very close to being back is Harry Maguire. Uh, he joined in training this week, but he's only trained for one, two days this week. So he's going to be a little bit rusty. Um, he's introduced back into the squad. Whether he'll be available tomorrow, maybe a push. But certainly from next week onwards, he should be, he should be OK. Any fresh problems? No fresh problems, no which is good, <laughs> means we've done our job well this week. Um, everybody is ready and fit. We still have one more training session before the game, so we keep the cotton wool on them today and, uh, and then we've got the game tomorrow. What are your thoughts on Swansea? Very good team. Obviously, they've made a few changes in the, in the summer. They've, uh, they've added quality to their team. And it will be interesting. We've, we've analysed the game from Burnley when they played Burnley last week. I think... First day is always, always difficult for teams to get a rhythm, but I'm sure they'll perform now at home in front of their own supporters and the new players will want to show what they can do for Swansea, but we'll be prepared for that. You clearly have your rhythm already, but how difficult has it been? It's proven quite easy, but how difficult has it been perhaps to try and keep everyone together, forget what's happening outside and just get on with business? Well, I think sometimes in, in the adversity and what have you, you do come together and you just stay as a good unit. And the players have managed to do that. You know, they've, they've kept their, their football heads on all week. They're ready. I think it was a bonus for us to get off to a winning start. And we just have to move on. You know, it's a long, tiring season. But we have a couple of games now. You know, we have a cup game coming up. We have the league game tomorrow. We have one more league game. Then we have an international break. So... In a way, if we can keep the squad together, keep them performing, then they can have the break after that. Are you doing anything to say, look, it's us against the world or anything like that? <laughs> I just think the, uh, everybody knows that as a professional footballer, you're here to play football. I'm here to coach the team and my staff are here to, uh, to help them in whatever way we can. The group itself is galvanised. You know, They have been a credit to themselves and to the football club in, in the way they've gone about their work. And it's just a case now of another game. Away from home is always difficult. At home it might have helped. Away from home is the biggest challenge. Mike, how involved are you with the transfer negotiations that's going on at the moment? I'm aware of things that are, 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 are happening. Um, we've had discussions and we've tried to get our heads on as to what players and what targets we want to, want to bring into this football club. But then it's handed over to the powers who, uh, who have to make that happen. And... Uh, and at the moment, I've said, we've, we've bid for two or three players. Those bids are out there. It's up to the clubs now whether they accept or don't, and we, we just play in a waiting game. What sort of input do you have in deciding who are you going after? Them? Well, I know football players. I've been in the game long <laughs> enough. <laughs> and, uh, and we know roughly where we want to strengthen and, and where we want to help other players in their roles. So, so there has been talk of, of players between me and the owner, uh, and it's just a case now of... Are they available? What price are they? And can we do it? Can I ask you just one question about we just spoke to Dave Andrew this morning? How much of a bonus was his form last week after such a kind of difficult spell from initially at the club? Yeah, well he's come he's come from, you know, overseas, he's come into what was the championship last year and probably found it a little bit different to uh, to his normal game. But he's he's developed his work really, really hard. And I just thought with Diamande it was an opportunity to, to play him in a position which I'd seen him playing for his, um, for his club, his previous club, and he enjoyed it. And it was a case of trying to get a system and the correct players to play that system. And, and it worked out pretty well, simply because we only had 13 players and, and you know, two of them were goalkeepers. So he had to play somewhere. And he did really, really well, and I thought he enjoyed the game. Yeah, he stay on... Who was going to get the goal? Did he have the final say? <laughs> we still don't know. <laughs> we still don't know. What was unusual was the fact that they both tried to do the same thing at the same time. So it was like a synchronised move, really. 
I'd love to say it was practiced on the training ground, but you don't do those things on the training ground not too often. But for both of them to go for the same ball, for both of them to try the same thing, and it worked, you know, was, was what people pay money for.